Our first guest is an all-star when it comes to kids cooking and so much more, by the way. And today she is here showing us one of her very favorite kids' desserts. But you know what? It's, it's for adults, too. It is so good. It is lemon pound cake mini donuts. Please welcome back our good buddy, Catherine McCord. Hey, Catherine, look at those donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't mess around. We, they, yeah, for kids, for adults, for anyone. And I know your kids love these. Are you kidding me? Like, I pull these out of the oven, and I am a superstar mom. Oh my gosh, these are so good. So Catherine. good, okay, right? show us how to make these. I know you've uh, already creamed the sugar and the butter and... Yeah, just just sugar and butter. Okay. Like this is always when you're making uh, donuts or cookies, cream the sugar and butter. You want it like give it like three four minutes. Get it nice and light and fluffy, and then we're gonna turn on the standing mixer, and go ahead just on low, and just get those eggs in there one at a time. Mm. And you just want to you know give them like a little love. You because you want to make sure that they're totally incorporated, making it nice and light and right. airy. That's that's right. really, really important. Um, and always, when you're making donuts or any kind of muffins or cookies, use your spatula. You can stop it halfway through um, just to make sure that you continue to get the sides, like, you know, get it, get it off the beater, get it, get it in there, and uh, that way you're gonna make sure that nothing at the end, you know when you like make something and yeah. at the very bottom, you're like, what? Oh, why no. did it all get stuck at the bottom? So um, everything's completely incorporated. Totally, right. and this is really, like, what's great about a recipe like this is it is family friendly like get your kids involved because you know I mean this is not a tough recipe to like so twist their arm <laughs> but you know like oh you please may eat the, the lemon pound cake donuts uh, but you know that you know it's fun just as an activity that's true and when you do get the kids involved I and mean, we've talked about this so many times yeah. I mean with with one potato and we delicious once you get the kids involved in the kitchen it will help them make better choices, even if it's cauliflower or broccoli. They're yeah. more apt to actually eat it if they help prepare it. Well, you see it with your daughter. I mean, yeah. like, you know, it's just like that funny thing where I can get my kids to eat anything if they actually help me right. make it. It's just like one of those. It's a psychology like, thing. They enjoy very, it. it. It's yeah. very interesting how that works. Okay, so we've got some sour cream here. A little tangy, little tart, nice and thick and creamy. We're gonna go ahead and add a little vanilla extract for flavor, lemon juice. Um, and because, as I said, these are those like lemon and pound cake donuts. Go ahead and give it a stir. Now, you know what's great is when you can use an ingredient two ways. So people often like lemon juice and like toss the lemon. Right. Use the lemon zest. This no. is where you're gonna get like a lot of flavor. So true. Super depth of flavor. So anytime you've got any kind of citrus, any like you know oranges, grapefruit, anything, like get that zester out. Um, it's it, it's really fun. Yeah, and you cannot, you just can't recreate that that citrusy flavor without actually putting the zest in there. And it really does like give make. A very dynamic recipe because yeah. that way you're getting like that just it, it has a like a, a flavor difference but uh, it really just elevates your recipe all right so another thing is and you can see I'm really trying to incorporate this I don't want to have any lumps by the way if you don't have sour cream you could use Greek yogurt um, mm. use a whole whole milk and um, you know not non-fat let's use like a full fat uh, yogurt in this and that works really well too and it keeps it very moist doesn't yes, it very, that's that's Lovely. like the whole thing and that's why the you know we're making a pound cake here it's like a little little mini pound cake. Um, in here, I've got some uh, some flour, some baking soda, some salt, um, already pre-sifted. Now, watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn the mixer on low. Um, we're gonna add it alternate, like so that like one, a little of this, a little of that, about two, three times till it incorporates. You want to do this um, sort of fast because you don't want to just dump all the flour in at once. I always think of it as just like, it's almost like kneading dough. You just got to add right. a little bit of this, a little Give bit of that. Give it a little that. love. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a great time to be using your citrus. Right. Um, I was at a friend's season. house the other day and she had lemons like falling off her tree. And I, of course, am that person. I was on the That's ground. That's happening in my backyard. Really? I will send you so many. I, so oh my many God. Know what to do oh with my them. god i'll be it's like, so like, exciting it's true like they keep falling off the tree I'm like, yeah. what am i going to do with these i'm putting them on my I on my neighbor's door i love it i love it i literally <laughs> was like taking bagfuls away i was like you don't mind if i just creep out a few uh, oh bags of lemons and i have orange trees we could do this ah. with oranges we could do Grapefruit. Oh my God! You have Come a over. you have a little a little social distance. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's hey, believe me. At this point, that's like my favorite thing. All right, so I've got a little, little bit of this. We're just gonna put that there. Get everything out of the way. Now you have a really cool tip. 
yes. of how to actually get these in the little yes. donut um, tray. I love a little tip. I'm all about a shortcut. I think that anytime, and it makes it like a little bit easier. We'll see. We'll see by how well I do it. I'm, I'm a big talk sometimes. Let's see if I live up to my game. So yeah, take a Ziploc bag. You could also do a pastry bag. Um, I can show you how to do both ways, but let's like just jump in here with this. Um, and take the a, a little bit of the batter or all the batter. Um, just for, for now, we'll just do a little bit. And we're going to make so smart. a little piping bag. Yep. So go ahead. And you know what I always suggest is do a little first. You can always cut more, but if you pop it all out, you're going to be like really bummed. Um, mini, isn't this so, so fun? Cute. I the love mini a mini mini donut pan, like super adorable. And look at how clean that is look because otherwise that. when you try to spoon it yep. into this, it, it gets a little messy. It's, it's uh, Believe me, I've done yeah. this with my kids before with the spoon. I'm like, no, it's really cute. I love the way you're doing it. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, it's a total mess. So this way um, you just pipe it in super fast, super clean. Uh, you don't want to fill it all the way up because then they're going to overflow everywhere. So, okay. you know, about about three, four quarters of the way. And these go um, in the oven for how long? Yeah, you're gonna put them in, you know, I always say like, you know, 12, 14 minutes, you know, okay. just give, just keep an eye on them. Um, but we're gonna put them in the oven. At what temperature, 350? Yep, and we're gonna take them out. And then do you let them cool before we start to um, put the glaze on? Because uh, the glaze is uh, pretty delicious. I feel like you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> so you always want to make the, sure these cool because if not, your 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 frosting icing is gonna like. Oh, okay. um, you can do this two ways. So this is actually one of my favorite tips. I feel like no one ever showed. I mean, yeah. no one ever showed me this when I was a kid. Um, I ended up like baking and like just using a spoon. Yeah, you want to. This is the best way. Yeah. So just always and like I didn't even give it. I didn't, let me give this a teeny bit of a stir but if you use um because it sometimes will just harden right at the That's top right. yeah mix it up mix it up um by doing this the, it, it just adheres and you can just dump it in but it makes the most like perfect uh frosting icing situation oh. and you just like let it drizzle 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 now here's another tip in here is powdered sugar lemon and milk but if you want you could add a little uh food coloring i use uh dye free frostings um so like that are naturally natural dyes but yeah. you know if you're doing like a little birthday party you're doing yeah. a little saint patrick's day like whatever pink green blue like we can so Sweet. You know, zhuzh it up, but this way, you know, it's a, it's, it's how whatever color and just that that tang from oh the lemon gosh, with the sweet icing Ooh. frosting. I mean, it's so yummy, and happiness. it's hard to wait for them to actually set. I'd want to eat them like that because they're so yummy. You know, do you remember that commercial time to make the donuts? Yes, yes. And at the end, he said, "We've made the donuts." <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've made, made the, the donuts. donuts. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, honey. Congratulations oh. on One Potato now being nationwide. I'm we so are proud nationwide. of you. That is so awesome. Thank you. To find more fabulous food with Catherine, <laughs> you can go to her Instagram at Weelicious. And do not forget to grab these delightful donuts at HallmarkChannel.com. Well, the donuts won't be there, but the recipe <laughs> will be. The donuts will be in my belly. <laughs> <laughs>